this problem, we are looking at the ratio of two numbers is 8 to 5. The sum of these numbers is 26. What is the positive difference of these two numbers? So, okay, so the ratio of two numbers is 8 to 5. So we, I'm going to call x our first number and y our second number. And then it says the ratio is 8 to 5. So that means x over y is 8 over 5. And then the second key fact on this problem is it says the sum of these numbers is 26. So that means x plus y is 26. So we have two equations with two letters. Do you remember what we do when we have two equations with two letters? Step one, so we get one letter alone in one equation. And then step two, we plug that letter into the other equation. Okay, so let's grab this first equation. I'm going to diagonal, diagonal, cross, multiply. That's what we do when we have equal fractions, right? 5x is 8y. And now I want to get one of those letters alone. So I take 5x equals 8y, and I just divide both sides by 5, don't we? And so that means that x is 8 fifths y. So we got one letter alone in one equation, and then we grab the other equation, bring it down here, x plus y is 26, and we plug oops, this right here in for x right there. And so what do we get when we do that? We get x, which is 8 fifths y, plus y is 26, right? Because x is 8 fifths y. So, I, so, so notice what I'm doing. Whenever you have two equations, two letters, you get one letter alone in one equation. So I got x alone in the first equation. Then I plug that into the second equation. And I'm going to solve for y. How do we solve this for y? Well, um, this is really 1y, isn't it? So it's 8 fifths y plus 5 fifths y, which is 13 fifths y. And then how do we get, get rid of that fraction so that y is alone? You multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. 5's cancel, 13's cancel. Y is take your calculator here and take uh, 26 times 5. You multiply by the number on the top, divide by the number on the bottom, and you'll get 10. So Y is 10. So we got Y, but now we got to get X. How do we get the other letter? Well, you find, you find the other letter. Oops. By my pen's not working so well there. There we go. By plugging y equals ten into any equation. So plug y equals ten into it. Really, you can any equation doesn't matter. I'll, I I think I'm going to grab this one. This looks easiest, but you could you could use this one or this one or this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. You can't go wrong. I'm just going to grab that one. It looks easy. X plus y equals twenty six. So right there, I use that one, x plus y is 26, plug in the 10 right there for y, x plus 10 is 26, so then just subtract 10 from both sides, boom, x is 16. So the, so the two numbers are 10 and 16, 10 and 16, we got the two numbers, come up here, now what, what do they want from us? They say... When all is said and done here, they say, what is the positive difference of these two numbers? So 16 and 10, if you subtract them, 
the difference is six. So that's the answer they actually want. Did you notice that kind of tricky question thing? They didn't want the two numbers, right? My two numbers were 16 and 10. 16 and 10. Right there, there's the two numbers, x and y, 16 and 10. What they want is, oops, is the difference, the positive difference between those numbers. So the difference between 16 and 10 is 6. That's the positive difference between those numbers. So that's the answer they want to the question 6.